Welcome to today's presentation. The question today is on how to use the density bottle to determine density of a given solid. So the question reads, a density bottle has a mass of 23.5 grams when empty and 63.1 grams when partly filled with soil. When water is added to the soil to completely fill the bottle, the new mass was 98.1 grams. If the mass of the bottle when filled with water only is 73.5 grams, calculate the density of the soil. So, density of the soil is obtained as mass of soil over volume of soil. So, our task here is to determine the mass of the soil and volume of soil in the density bottle. So, we are going to begin by determining the mass of the soil. So consider the density bottle as shown. So the density bottle is partly filled with soil. So this is soil. Now, the mass of soil here should be 63.1 minus 23.5. Now 63.1 is the mass of the density bottle partly filled with soil. So that means the mass of the density bottle plus mass of soil, that gives us 63.1. But density bottle alone weighs 23.5. So when we get the difference, we are going to remain with the mass of soil alone. So that is 39.6 grams. Remember, after this, the next thing is to determine the volume of the soil. But before we get the volume of the soil, it's important to determine this. Remember, we are told when partly, sorry, when water is added to the soil to completely fill the bottle, the new mass was 98.1 grams. So to this soil that is already in the density bottle, water is added until the density bottle is filled. So let's say to that level. So, our aim here is to get the volume of water. Remember, at this point, we have water. So, we need to get the volume occupied by water when it is added to the density, or rather, when it is added to the soil that is already inside here. So, if we know the volume of water, and we also know the volume of the density bottle, when you get the difference, we'll remain with the volume of soil. So first let us determine the mass of water added here. So the mass of water added is 98.1 minus 63.1. Now 98.1 is the mass of the density bottle plus water added plus the soil and 63.1 is the mass of the density bottle and soil. So when you get the difference, we remain with the mass of water added. That is 35 grams. So water is important in this working because we already know its density. We know that the density of water is one gram per cubic centimeters. So that helps us determine the volume of water added. So the volume of water added is mass of water over the density. So mass of water added is 35 grams over the density, which is one gram per cubic centimeters. So when we divide this, we get 35 cubic centimeters. Now, the next thing is to determine the volume of the density bottle. Now, for the next part, we are told if the mass of the bottle when filled with water only is 73.5 grams, calculate the density of the soil. So, water is added to an empty density bottle until it is full. So, this water will occupy the volume of the density bottle. So, if we get the volume of water in this density bottle, then that should be equivalent to the volume of the density bottle. 
So first we will get the mass of water filling the bottle. The mass of water filling the bottle is 73.5 minus 23.5. 73.5 is the mass of density bottle plus water added and 23.5 is the mass of the density bottle alone. So when you get the difference, that should give us 50 grams, which is the mass of water filling the bottle. Now, with this, again, we can determine the volume of water filling the bottle. Now, the volume of water filling the bottle is mass over density, and the mass is 50 grams. Density is 1 gram per cubic centimeter. So when you divide this, we are going to get 50 cubic centimeters. And just like I'd said earlier on, this mass of water is, or rather this volume of water, sorry, is the same volume of the density bottle. The water takes up the shape and the volume of the container that contains it, and for this case it is the density bottle, and therefore the volume of water in the density bottle should be equivalent to the volume of the density bottle and that is 50 cubic centimeters now having known the volume of the density bottle we can now determine the volume of soil remember if we take the volume of the density bottle minus the volume of water that was added to the soil will remain with the volume of the soil and therefore the volume of the soil is obtained as volume of the density bottle 50 minus volume of water that was added which is 35 and that gives us 15 cubic centimeters. So finally we have the volume of soil and the vol or rather the mass of the soil. Now using this formula density of the soil is mass of the soil which we had gotten as 39.6 grams over the volume of the soil which we have here as 15 cubic centimeters. So when you divide we get the density of soil as 2.64 grams per cubic centimeters. And that is how we go about this question. I want to thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.